And we are getting into it now. QE on winner's side versus Goldeneye. On losers, Lucario versus Simon. And let's get into it right here. Pokemon Stadium. These players did get a Game 5 situation last time. Definitely looked like in QE's favor as the matches went on. But Goldeneye, again, capitalizes on mistakes. And that, that throw into throw was, was quite the counter. A B, unsafe, and you're going to eat only a dash attack from that, luckily. Careful with those. Dude, we got to spot dodge that axe. That is some ballsy move right there. Nice back airs there. And Goldeneye keeping the pressure up. But QE now going to reset the pace. And he's going to get the pressure of his own. And we've seen that before where the Aura Spheres will come through. And like that, we're going to get a Holy Fire into F Smash. Good stuff to Goldeneye. 76 on Simon right now. It looks like Huey is just not finding his footing. He's he's trying to get in, and we're having some situations where it's just microspacing or just Goldeneye doing enough moves here. Really making it strong. Goldeneye has yet to take any damage this stock. And as I say that, it's a meaty back air taking a good 24%. And you're seeing a lot of shield damage also coming out from Huey here. At that point, crouch. Or just jump. That 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 sniped you in the head and you were dead, man. And again, the cross just covering the ground there. Axe coming up. Huey doing a good job landing on that platform. And you can tell, it does look like QE is just kind of playing a little bit from behind. He's not he's not counter-pressuring. But he is getting that kill. Neutral air into back air there. And immediately responds from Goldeneye. And now QE has the advantage here. 144 on this Lucario. Special recovery there. Going to take a lot of damage for it. And that's going to send him into a horrible position. He is not going to make it back. QE in a style there with that curved extreme speed. First game going to QE. He had another stock. He was fine. But if you want to do mental damage, yeah. But knowing Goldeneye, he's probably looking at it like that. Like, I was already dead. Okay. Okay, QE. You know, it's funny, back when I was playing Lucario in the Smash 4 days, uh, we have a local Grunk, very good Fox player, um, was consistently, like, top 4 in our PR. Uh, I was playing against him, and it was Lucario Fox, which are arguably the worst matchup for Lucario at, at, at the end of the meta. But there was a time where I'm at high percents, he's at high percents, and I up throw him. And he's high enough that I know that my I'm not going to follow up. Like, it's significant. He also knows that I know I can't follow up, and he's like, all right, I don't need to worry about anything. So I up throw him, and then I immediately do extreme speed, and I curve into him, and I hit him. It didn't kill him off the top. I wasn't sure if it was actually going to kill him off the side, but no, it killed Fox off the side. And afterwards, he just looks at me saying, that was sick. And that was all or nothing last stock. If that missed... I was dead. There was no surviving against a fox. <laughs> so, extreme speed can be a crazy mix-up. I really do like what they did in this game. They made it a lot more fair in how you recover and how you bounce and everything.
So here we are now, going into game two. What is Goldeneye thinking? This is his least favorite stage. Unless if he's doing this to piss me off, which may in fact be true. Why? Why would you... You hate this stage with a passion. Why are we here? What are you doing? Unfortunate they are going to take an SD there. I know my battery's low. Thank you for telling me, Nintendo. This song is actually more acceptable. Still. Like that, though. Goldeneye only taking 36% here. And that's what I mean with the bounce. There's some crazy stuff you can do. And there's the dinero. Never mind. It's all over. And there are some crazy things you can do with the bounce where you can actually hit the opponent. My god, Q, he's going way the heck out there with those wall jumps. Yeah, you can bounce into forward smash. That's actually a combo. Boom. In the face. All right, so looking at this, if Golden Knight didn't SD, this would actually be pretty close. But uh, but he did SD, so he's got to go and make a lot of work here. And uh, Huey almost killed him there. It's never a good idea to intentionally get hit by Cross. Unless if you were going to die. <laughs> That grabbed him. Okay. That's crazy how we could do one aerial into another and cover both sides of him. I was gonna get the holy water, not gonna cack though. Huey immediately going for shield. I mean, he could probably mix it up and go for a tilt or something, but as it is right now, Golden Knight can get this kill without taking too much more damage. He is going to be able to bring this one back to some extent. And again, another up B finally going to take it at 100 and whatever. 186. Golden Knight SDing at zero, essentially. Bringing this all the way back now to a last stock situation, and you can never count it out until the game is over. And like this, Goldeneye is officially in the lead. Interesting option to do that up B there and get him off. Gotta be careful, because he cannot afford to get off stage against this Lucario. Holy Water's into it, not gonna get that up smash. But, tries to get another one, but he's going to air dodge through it again. Almost getting that back here connection. Not going to connect. And he does not have a jump. And that Aura Sphere is going to take it. When he dropped off ledge there to attack, he got hit. He was already dead. Good stuff to QE for sending the message again. Still, though, very good stuff there from Goldeneye. After SDing super early, brings that back and actually got the percent lead again. Really shows that if you keep your composure and you just focus on winning those interactions, you can take any of these games. People have reverse three stocked. It happens. I saw that happen with Chris and Tyson, and that looked very much impossible. <laughs> We're getting into game three now. Goldeneye on his tournament game, potentially. Good luck and have fun.
special axe there. And you're seeing right now that this game is very much going back and forth. Goldeneye holding the projectile ground. Huey trying to maneuver his way around here. And again, those up Bs, not getting punished there, but those up Bs are what make it very scary for Goldeneye. When he up Bs in the neutral there and takes a lot of damage. At Holy Water, gonna catch the roll in. Not really sure why Kiwi opted to roll in there. There wasn't really anything Goldeneye could have done if he did a neutral getup or a jump getup or even a drop down or even a jump dare. I don't see a lot of jump dares from Kiwi now that I think about it. Because that is the fastest way to get back to the ledge. Or back to the ledge side. Like this though, Kiwi trying to find his way in. Goldeneye still trying to capitalize on his damage. Sphere still not strong enough to go through cross yet. It will be in another 10% from Lucario. And that back air is going to take it there. Do we only at 70? That's the thing about this character is you got it. You got to deal with this freaking Anubis. That, not gonna get punished again. But those are the up Bs that could really cause a lot of damage to gold mine. You just see the mind games going in between these players right now. Thought he was gonna F-tilt immediately. He held off just barely. And then QE tried to forward smash. It's just, they're thinking on another level here. It's easy for us to see, oh, well, we should have done that or whatever, but in the heat of this moment, like that, that force bomb should have connected. Wow, both players respecting each other's jumps there. Forward throw, not going to take it. And he is going to make it back, though. 160 on this Lucario. Ooh, jeez. Those are mortars. Those are what we call mortars. And he is going to cancel it into a Force Palm. There's really nothing you can do against that. Unless if you're like mashing jump or something. But even then. That Force Palm I think was supposed to be a turnaround to Orosphere. Ross going to hit him up. God, that back here did so much damage. Old Knight's got to make it back. Chasing him all the way there, trying to get some forward air, but that roll is going to give him another 30%. 193 on this Anubis. And forward tilt is finally going to take it there. 71 on Goldeneye. We've seen him in this position before. Cross going to come in. And this is where Goldeneye, if he can just keep the center stage here, he'll be okay. But that backer going to send him at a horrible angle. Is he going to go for it? He is. Goldeneye does make it back. And Goldeneye still keeping up with the pressure here. You can tell, though, that he's risking it all right now with those up -ease and everything. But that back air going to hit him in the back. And like that, Huey is going to take it a 3-0. Good stuff to these players. Congrats to Huey for taking another quarantainment. Congrats to Goldeneye for making his run. Hasn't been in a quarantine for quite some time and still showing that this Simon is no joke.